Hi guys, thanks for joining me today. I'm Marilyn, and I appreciate you joining me here on Making with Marilyn. If you haven't seen one of my videos before, I usually start out by showing my face. But today we're going to do something just a little bit differently, and that is to show you what issue I made this video to address. When you use the rotary attachment with a We Create laser and you're trying to do tumblers, there is a non-working area up at the top of the tumbler. I love the We Create lasers, but I also love to do tumblers that have large designs or once in a while full wrap tumblers. I wanted to see how large this non-working area was, so I put a piece of tape on my tumbler and I kept refreshing until I found exactly the size of the non-working area. In the end, I found that it was about 1.75 inches. Now, if you're wanting to center your design on a tumbler and the tumbler's only eight inches tall, that only leaves four and a half inches for your design. It would be really small, something like this. Well, I ended up seeing somebody on YouTube use an attachment to move their tumbler out into the working area, and that's what I'm gonna show you today. Here's the extender that I bought to use on the We Create lasers. It came in a two pack and it was about $15. To use it, I cut some 3 quarter inch PVC pipe and I cut it at 6 and a quarter inches long. Now these extenders came with a type of tape that you put around the PVC pipe, but when I used that tape, I couldn't actually get the PVC pipe down into the extender. So I ended up just using some heat resistant tape because it's what I had on hand. After that, you put the PVC pipe down into the extender and then tighten up that thumb screw. Now it's ready to use. The set of feet that I'm using is one of the sets that came with the We Create Vista. To get your attachment into the cup, you squeeze the attachment together so it fits inside. Push it down into the tumbler. As long as it's beyond that non-working area in the We Create Make It software, you're good to go. Now I'm going to place the PVC pipe over the feet, making sure that it's pushed all the way up against the base of the feet. On the other end of the tumbler, I'll use the leveling tool that you get with the rotary attachment. It's fairly tight already, but I'll hand tighten it. And then I'll use the chuck key that comes with the rotary tool to tighten it up just a bit more. Now I want to make sure the tumbler is level and plumb to the laser hood. First I get it level, so I adjust the leveling tool until the air bubble is between the two lines of the level. Then I look at the tumbler from the end and I can see that it's not plumb to the laser head. There was more space between the tumbler and the laser head toward the bottom of the tumbler. So I slide it over closer to the laser head just a little bit until it looks plumb. I rotate the tumbler a few times to make sure it's rotating smoothly. And then I check one more time to make sure it's still level. Now I'm in the We Create Make It software. I start by clicking on New Project. Then to bring my design in, I click on File and then Import. I find the right file, click on it, and then click on the Open button. This image, which is a steampunk cat, came in in a lot of bits and pieces. Each one of the little blue line squares and rectangles represents an individual item in the file. Having so many individual pieces would bog down the software a little bit and would take longer to engrave. So I go up to Merge, and then I click on Merge Graphic Shapes. Because this image has so many little parts and pieces and is very large, it took about 30 seconds for the software to process the merge function. The software eventually merged everything together, then it was time to make the design much smaller. I changed the width to what the perimeter of my tumbler measured. Since the padlock was locked, the height changed as well. Then I added a rectangle around my design and changed it to red just to see what the design would look like on a red tumbler. I also changed the design to gray since that was the closest color to what the engrave will look like. 
I did this simply to visualize what my tumbler would look like after processed. So then I deleted the rectangle and changed the engrave area back to black. When you use the rotary tool in a WeCreate laser, you need to change your setting from laser flat to laser cylindrical. Now I want to hit the refresh button so that I can activate the camera in the laser. I will adjust the size later, but for now I'm going to work with some more settings. Under Material, I make sure that I'm set to Stainless Steel Tumbler Red. Then it's time to add the perimeter or the circumference of the tumbler. After refreshing the camera again, I change the power to 100% and the speed to 125. This setting has worked well for me on these tumblers before, but you might find a setting that works better for you. And different brands and different colors of tumblers can require different settings. I take some time, after changing my design pink to make it easier to see, to adjust exactly where my design is on the tumbler using the camera to get it where I want it. Lastly, I unlock the padlock so that I can change the height of the design without affecting the width. I eventually settle on a height of 7.35 inches. Before engraving on the tumbler, I want to use the 3D preview function to see how well the design goes around the tumbler. I use this feature for checking on the width of my design only, and I rely strictly on the camera for determining the height of my design. I can see on the back that it's not going to match up perfectly, but I'm happy with it and I'm ready to process it. So I click out of the 3D preview feature by clicking on that X, and then I click on Start. When you do full wrap tumblers, you're not able to use the framing feature because the software is concerned about how close the design is to what it thinks is the side of your blank in the machine. Since it's a tumbler and it's going to rotate, the laser will stay on the tumbler. So this time when I click start, I don't even try to frame it, and I click on send. The software prompts me to close the lid and click on the button on the front of the laser. I was happy with the engrave, so I went ahead and clicked on Complete. After opening the machine and removing the tumbler, look at how dirty this tumbler is. I'm going to take it to the bathroom sink and wash it with water and liquid hand soap. Then I'll be right back. I washed it and this is so cute, but it's going to get a lot brighter and a lot shinier once I use this LA's Totally Awesome on it. I got this at the Dollar Tree store. I'm just going to spray it on. When you spray this on, just let it sit for a little bit. It does so much of the work for you. After it sat for just a little bit, then just wipe it off. Now, do this over the bathroom sink. Look how cute that design is. Super cute. My daughter is going to love this. All right, I'm going to go ahead and use a little bit more of this. And then I'm going to take this to the bathroom, clean it up, and then I'll be back. Now, while I'm waiting for that to work, I didn't do a great job on the back, but that's okay. I really wanted to make sure that the extender that I got was going to work well, and I think it did a great job. It pushed the whole tumbler out into the working area, and that's what I was looking for. All right, let me go ahead and wash this up, and I'll show it to you. Here's how it turned out, and I think it is adorable. Now the light that I'm using makes it look a little bit weird, 
makes it look darker in areas, but if I turn it, you can see this whole thing engraved. It is really, really cute. I think it might look better on a darker tumbler because there's so many fine details, but I know my daughter's going to love this, and I love it too. I hope you enjoyed the video or you learned something. Remember, if you're interested in one of these We Create Vistas, the early bird pricing ends on October 14th or when supplies run out. I really have to say, for a 10 watt diode laser, I have been thrilled with it. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day, and until my next video, bye bye.